Today I am going to show you how to create spring in fusion. So for that I go to tools 3d and shape 3d. So here I have shape 3d through shape 3d we can create plane, cube, sphere, cylinder. So for spring I use cylinder. Now to see my cylinder on viewport very clearly I change the material color kind of orange okay, now I again go to control I decrease the radius of cylinder maybe 0.18 increase the height of cylinder maybe 20 and also increase subdivision level to 60 Okay, now I go to 3D control. I rotate my cylinder to 90 degree and give some spring kind of effect. I decrease my Z scale. Okay, now I use one more tool that is bender 3d okay and i bend in z so i got this kind of effect now i change something in shape 3d I change my X rotation that is right now 90 degree maybe I change it to 88 degree so now see I can get the spring kind of effect now the main task is I have to increase these numbers so for that I use one more tool that is duplicate 3d In duplicate 3 here is the number of copy so for example here I set 10 and then chain Y offset make sure you change your Y offset very properly it is little difficult for example this one but the problem is that when I change my rotation maybe little bit more or less so every time I have to change my Y offset and that is very hectic so for that I write one mathematical calculation the calculation is that the distance between this is the total length of the cylinder into cosine angle okay and that is this the rotation angle so to apply this thing also select this thing using control so I have to add one expression in Y offset so I right click here add expression so first I call this height the length of this cylinder so to pick this value that is very simple option here you have this plus sign just click and 
drag over here so you get this syntax that shape 3d1 dot surface cylinder input dot height so I can get length of this cylinder now into I have to call this angle and see this angle is in angular form degree form so to calculate cosine I have to convert this into radius so for that I have to write some function for example first of all I write cos into bracket I write rate that is the function which convert angle to radian form and here I have to call this angle that's it now you can see I got perfect offset for this duplication now if I change some rotation it automatically change offset through this expression okay again I set it to 88 I increase number and again I put one more blend 3d and I set group object I change my center to 0 now if I change amount and you can see you get a spring can change anything for example height angle band you can animate this thing okay so through that I can create spring so thank you for watching this video hope you like this thing